Hi, I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN. For some, it's been a beautiful season. For others, it's been a nightmare. Happy Halloween, everyone. Week 9 of the NFL. I'm Chris Berman. Let's see who came dressed as a winning football team for this one. Indianapolis, Green Bay. It's game time. These fans have been tailgating for hours, and now they are just moments away from what they've been waiting for. Hi, folks. I'm Dan Stevens. And welcome to historic Lambeau Field. With me, my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game features a big-time matchup between an elite wide receiver and a defensive back who's one of the best in the league. That's right, Dan, and you've got to figure they'll be seeing a lot of one another today. Number 13 is one of the premier receivers in the NFL. What really stands out in my mind about him is his leadership on the field. He's really intelligent, and he knows how to motivate his teammates and get them ready for battle. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer, number 37. He's a highly competent cornerback. You know, for a defender, he's got great hands. So if a pass strays too close, you know he can come up with an interception. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a real dogfight in store for us. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. I choose tails. It's heads. It's good. Number two, kicking off for the Packers. There's the signal, and it's we're time ready. For Packer football. Number two boots the opening kickoff. Number ten downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Colts send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 23 loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Number 64 not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 13 goes in motion. Pepper attacks him way back at the 13. Julius Peppers got the sack, but he was totally unblocked. You need to at least lay a hand on someone to slow him down a bit. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Third down with the tight end right. Number 23 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Number one lines up to punt after the three and out. Number one gets the ball and punts it away. Number 18 fields it at the 44. Slips free, tackled at the 45. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The Packers start this one on the center logo at the 45-yard line. Number 26 had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Number 12 throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 40. Number 89 can grab the tough passes. Seventh year man out of Miami. I like his ability to catch and hold on to the ball. Definitely a standout in the NFL. All right, defense, let's hit the Third and one. Ball at the 36 yard line. Number 22 goes in motion. Number 26 has his number called on third down and can't convert the third down. Fourth down coming up. Number 12 throws this one way downfield and it Passes falls. Complete. 
Number 89 from the short out there to buy himself some space, and he's open. With the coverage. But they just cannot connect. Got to make those short ones. They could have punted it away and chose to go for it on fourth down. Now, will that cost them? Well, with the score this close, it's hard to say, but you never want to hand the other guy an edge. The Colts offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at their 36-yard line. Number 13 catches the heater left sideline and is at the 35. Touchdown. Touchdown. Come on. Give it up, baby. Number 12 throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. He'll get the touchdown and he does it in style. Beautiful play. To attempt the extra point. Number 16 holding. Here's the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. Adam Vinatieri kicking off. The, the ref Colts. gets the signal, and we're set. Vinatieri kicks it off. Number 83 catches it back at the four. Stop at the 23. Number 83 tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Packers were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Number 12 uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a hole. Number 26 picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second, second down. Ball at the 42-yard line. Number 12 lets it go here, and it's complete at the 22. Finally popped out of bounds at the 20. First down. Number 12 let that one fly across the field, yet somehow he nailed his receiver. It takes a strong arm to make that happen. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First down, three wideouts in the game. Number 22 goes in motion. Number 26 takes this one way out left and picks up a couple. Number 33 was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. The team doctor's diagnosis is that he has a pinched nerve in his shoulder. They're finishing a quick massage of the area, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. 26 picks up about two and that brings up third down. to head on this one with the pass coverage and the ball is waiting for him downfield. That's a great catch. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, Dan. Perfect execution. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself and he usually meets it. The extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number two kicks this one away. Number 10 fields the kickoff at the four. Drag down at the 33. Number 10 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Colts offense will start this drive at their 33-yard line. A bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they'll go to Nicka. Jones tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down, 11 yards to go. Jones sacks him back at the 28. Jones. 
sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number 12 throws a heater and the cut. However, it's short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. And that'll do it That's for quarter number one, quarter. and we're all tied. <laughs> number one lines up to punt after the three and out. Number one gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Number 18 fields the deep punt at the 26. A return of nine yards Tackled the at the 35. Number 18 returned for a few there, but okay. after that gigantic no. punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Packers' offense takes the field, and they will start out at their 35-yard line. Number 12 makes the throw after the play action fake and First the ball's down, caught Packers. at the 27 and he stopped right there. It will be first down. Number 89 is just crazy good on this play then. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball is plenty but two is something to be stoked about. Number 87 catches it in the flat and complete. picks up maybe a yard. Number 12 throws this one right sideline and it's cut for the score. by his lonesome on this one, Danny takes full advantage of it too. What happened to the coverage? Let's look. Well, that's an easy catch. My six-year-old could have caught that. Peter, there's another catch, and for a tight end, he sees the ball quite a bit. Well, he's one of those guys that's more of a receiver than a tight end, Dan. He's got such great hands that he'll get the ball a lot during this game. Gets the signal, and we're set. Number two kicks this one away. Number 13 fields it all the way back at the one. He dodges a tackle. Round to a halt at the 31. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. First and 10, Indianapolis. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait to see what happens here. They'll start at the 31-yard line. Number 37 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Pass. Number 12, offense. Five-yard penalty and loss of down. Number Second 12 down. was past the line of scrimmage on that play, which made the pass irrelevant. That was an illegal forward pass. Second down, Second down one man down. down. Ball at the coach, 25 yard line. Number 12 offs this one out to the left, and it's caught at the 48. Final. Number 12 gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. And Peter, if you were looking at this matchup on paper, mm -hmm. you'd figure ten. that this would have gone right. the other right. way. You betcha. He's given away a few inches in height, but he's still able to get those arms up and pull it in. Number 23 gets the call on first down and gets past the line. Second and six. Ball at the 41. 
Number 23 gets free again and hits out right. Brought down at the 32. First Number down. 23 oh. gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. Nice second down call, and they First will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down with a split back. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Second and 10. Ball at the 32-yard line. Number 23 gets the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 32. Number 21 with the tackle. Allen pulls down the floater out left. Number 21 goes for the ball, knowing the snow makes it pretty hard to hang on to. And he's able to knock it loose with a fumble. He used the elements to his advantage right there. Peter, there are many ways. Coach Dungy doesn't agree with the call, and we're... Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, After Dan. Review, I'd call it an incompletion an incomplete and pass. overturn it. The receiver did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. Indianapolis will not be charged to timeout. Fourth down. He likes yeah. the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Delay of game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. Number one lines Number one, up for the punt. punt formation. Number 18 to make the return. <laughs> Number one takes the snap and punts it away. The Packers let this one bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information uh, along to you. Uh, you there, uh. The Packers are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 22 goes in motion. Number 26 takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Tackled at the 24. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 67 hunts him down and gets the sack way back at the 16. Number 67, gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah, that's going to push them back, way back. Great defensive play. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. And the clock will continue to run. It will be first down. Number 18 is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First down, two receivers to the left. Let's it go here, and it's cut for a touchdown. Touchdown, Packers! Number 87 has three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Now the extra point, and the extra it's point good. Is good. There's the 
signal, and we're ready. Number two kicks it off. Number 13 fields the kickoff at the 7. Bang down at the 23. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. There's the numbers, Dan, and you can see that they are struggling. They need to start simple, just you know, string a few plays together, and then use that momentum to build your drives. First Let's see 10, what happens. Indianapolis. The Colts can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. 23 gains Number 8 yards and area. that will bring up second Mark down. With the tackle. Good, good. Number 23 gets the toss and passes the line. The Colts take their first time out. They're going air. They're going first air. and 10. The ball at the Colts. 37 yard line. <laughs> Number 13 didn't haul Passes that one in, in, and it falls Number incomplete. Second down, tight end to the left. Number 37, with the cover. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. The Colts will take a timeout. That's their second. Come on, Green Bay. Let's the defense. First down First from the shotgun. The ball at the 43. <laughs> Number 12 fires this one over the middle, and it Passes falls incomplete. incomplete. Number 10 was the intended receiver. Perry with the cover. <laughs> First makes the Colts. Ninth. The Colts call. take a timeout. That's their final one. First down First from the on. Ball at the 23. <laughs> Number 12 dumps this one to the flat and gets intercepted. Bang down at the 31. Number 23 knew the snow might make the ball harder to throw than a frozen turkey, so he was ready and able to pick off the wayward pass. That's his fourth interception of the year, Peter. He has to be happy with that. Yep, but he's always looking for more. The Packers' offense takes the field with the clock at 27. Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Second down with the tight end right. Number 89 goes in motion. Number 26 gets the handoff and heads wide left. The Packers take their first time off. Tackled at the 39. Dan, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Colts offense Down. takes the field with the clock at 10. Three, Number 23 picked up about seven and... Down. And that'll do it for That's the first the half of, the of this quarter. one. The Packers enjoying the lead 21 to seven. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Packers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number 13 came up with a huge play here 
as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 64-yard touchdown for the Colts. The Colts get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Packers answering right back. The Packers already inside field goal range. Number 12 connected with his man on this one. A 16-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers now early in the second quarter. Game tied, seven all. Number 12 would find his target on this one. The Colts now in the second quarter. Number 12 is gonna get this one out to his wide receiver and he'll do the rest. Colts behind, 14 to seven. Number 12 would air it out on this one and he would find his man. A 62 yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. The Packers move ahead by 14. The Colts late in the second quarter, the ball at the 24. Number 23 would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Packers still late in the second quarter, Packers up by 14. Number 27 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are up at the half, 21 to seven. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 12 has played like a man possessed. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this game. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Packers get the ball first this half, and another score by them could really open up this game. They currently lead 21-7. Let's go down to the field. The Packers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Number 26, gains five on the play, and that brings up second down. with the tackle. Hyena back, stick your one! Hyena back, hyena back, stick your one! Down! Brady makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 80 makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple covering. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Down. Number 22 Down. goes in motion. Down. Number 26 Down. loses one on the play, and... That will bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Tackle left the 48. Number 12 throws and they get the first on third and long. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. And as soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The penalty is declined. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Number 12, right for this one to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Number 18, Jason. 
double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch. That guy's a great receiver. That's his second TD reception, and obviously, the passes are coming his way when they get in the red zone. Well, he's taken on the role of scorer today, Dan, and I gotta tell you, he's filling that role nicely. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number two, boom's a beauty here. Number 10 decides to take it out of the end zone. Pushed out at the 20. Number 10 took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Colts offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 20-yard line. Daniels takes him down back at the 18. Number 64 gets the sack at the 15. Number 64 dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. That's number four on the game for this defense. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. Number 13 grabs the bullet and they get the first on third and long. Number 13 had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. What a big play on third down, Peter. His run after the catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation. And that's exactly what he did. Number 23 will get the carry on first down and will end up losing a couple. Number 23 goes in motion. It's intercepted. No one in front of him. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Packers. Daniels intercepts the ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. And he gets it. What a huge play for the defense as they put points on the board. Another touchdown, and they are really running away with this one. <laughs> the crazy thing is, they aren't showing any signs of slowing down. Now the point after, and the extra point it's is good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number two kicks it off. Number 10 took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, First he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the watch on that play. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Number 23 takes it for his 11th carry and rambles for about five. Number 64 with the tackle. Larry, Larry, down, go back, go back. 23 gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Number 12 gets all of his own into this pass, and they convert on third down. Number 12 zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty handed. Man, what ball placement. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 179 yards and one touchdown. Intercepted. Locked down at the 45. Barry goes why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D, is homing in on the passing game. A yeah, tough play. I love it. Number 22 goes in motion. Blue 22! Hut, hut, hut! Jackson blasts him back at the 42. 
Number 26. Has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like... Second down, 12 yards to go. All at the Packers, 42 yards. Get down! This one will fall incomplete. Number 87. Had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. That was a, a rare incompletion, Peter. This passing game has shown very few weaknesses. Well, the D better find some because there's still over a quarter left to play. Number 12 throws a lob right sideline and it's intercepted. Touchdown, and touchdown. Coach. Davis picks off the ball and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Hey, either that or give me the ball. Here's the, the point, point after, good. and it's good. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Packers in command of this one, 35-14. They're setting up for the onside kick. Vinatieri bounces it up. Number 17 gathers it up at the 42. Stopped at the 35. Number 17 wasn't going to let a miracle happen on this onside. It comes his way and then gets his hands around it to put the offense out on the field. Great work by this hands team. They can't bring down the onside kick. Pretty aggressive play calling there, though. Well, the offense is like a one in four chance of recovering uh -huh. those, but they knew the risks. Number 44 goes in motion. Number 26, the ball carrier. Butler with the tackle. Number 12 throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it is Pass not is reeled in. Incomplete. Davis played his coverage very... <laughs> Coach Sherman hey, is not happy down. with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, there's the catch. He's in bounds. I think they'll overturn this one. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Green Bay will not be charged to timeout. First down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Well, look First there, he's goal. up over 300 That's yards for the day. The 10 yard line. Down! Set! <laughs> Number 26 picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. Second and goal. Ball at the four yard line. Well, if they pass the ball here, watch him to gun it for his favorite receiver. Number 89 grabs the floater right sideline, and he's in for the score. Number 89 has three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Peter, there's another catch. And for a tight end, he sees the ball quite a bit. Well, he's one of those guys that's more of a receiver than a tight end, Dan. He's got such great hands that he'll get the ball a lot the during this game. Good. It's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number two kicks this one away. 
Number 13. Catches it back at the three. Tackled at the 26. Number 13. Was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Colts have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Number 12. Throws a heater right side line and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 42, managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. It's intercepted. Right down at the 24. Julius Peppers put the football back for a little gain after he picked it off. He was hoping for more, but, you know, he'll take it. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening now. Packers offense takes the field. They're in command, and they'll probably look to take time off the clock. They will start at the 24-yard line. Number 26 dodges this one way out right and rambles for about five. Second and five. Liz, Liz. Ball at the 19. Down! I got eight. Set! Black! 44! Number 26 will get the carry on second down and gets well past the markers for a first. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, Dan. And they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty run to boot. Nice play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Number 22 goes in motion. Number 26 picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second down with two tight ends to the right. The six yard line. Number 26 carries it for the fourth straight time and gets in for the score. 26 it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 52 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and The extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal. Number two kicks this one away. Number 13 fields the kickoff at the four. Stop at the 23. Number 13 got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put much on the run back. The Colts have had real problems turning the ball over. They'll need to buck the trend on this drive, which starts at their own 23 yard line. Number 12 brings it to the right side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number 10 snags the dart right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Second down. The Second clock is stopped four. at two minutes. Ball the Colts, line. <laughs> Number 12 throws a the bullet to the flat, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 12 has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 196 yards and four interceptions. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Allen 
punches him over the middle and is at the the Colts take their first time out. First and ten. Ball at the Colts 50 yard line. Leopard, Leopard, Leopard. Gun, gun, gun. Number 12 throws a bullet and it's tipped. Pass is incomplete. incomplete. Number 24, Number 24 knocked that pass down. Defense. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down from the shotgun. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Holding. Number 24, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Number 24 tries to contain his man on this play and ends up holding him. That's going to draw a flag. Let's watch. Oh, yeah, easy call. Defensive holding. First down, the First clock is stopped at 1.43. Number 12 sings it to the First right down. side. Cool. The Colts will take a timeout. That's their second. Step it up, defense. First Step and it ten. up. Ball at the 32-yard line. I know. Down. I know. Set. Switch. Back. Black 79. Back. Switch. Black 79. Out to the left. The Colts take a timeout. That's their final one. Second and five. Ball at the 28 yard line. Number 12 just rifles this one and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 30. Number 12 is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. Another throw that was picked off, and this game is turning into a nightmare for him. Well, he better wake up. Second and 11. Ball at the Packers 28 yard line. Black 43! Number 26 will get the handoff and he's stopped. Number 26. The clock the continues carrier. to run. Number 98 with the tackle. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Back down at the 40. Oh, check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Colts have the ball to start this final drive of the game in great field position with the clock at 16. Gets the sack, and the clock will continue to run. Number 12 spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Come on, man. Just Third down. The clock is stopped at three. Number 12 lets it go deep down the right side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Packers come out on top, 49 to 14. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye <laughs> until next time. Great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. 
I'm Chris Berman. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Number 12 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 14-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers have opened it up and now lead by 21. Daniel is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Touchdown for the Packers. The Colts, after getting an interception, Colts losing by 28. Perry was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Packers on defense, Davis, would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Colts. Packers out in front, 35 to 14. Number 12 would drop back and put one right on the money. A four yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers now up by 28. The Colts on D, Julius Red Hot Chili Peppers was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Packers, after getting an interception, Packers ahead by 28. Number 26 got the carry as they pounded at him on the ground and he made the most of it. They've opened it up now and lead by 35. The Colts on defense, Perry would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Colts losing 49 to 14. Butler is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers win big, 49 to 14. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number 12 was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort and led your team to a big win. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Man, our defense played great. They were getting after the ball, hustling, making hits all game long. Man, it got me fired up watching them play. It was a nice effort all around, though. Chris, back to you. I'm Chris Berman, and that concludes our broadcast of the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Take care. We'll see you next time. This is SportsCenter. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Giants put on a show and come out on top by 20. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Broncos pick up their third win of the season. The Jaguars won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC South. The Saints drop yet another game and are really struggling on and off the field. Number 89 pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Seahawks beat the Bills. By the warm waters of Tampa Bay, we had the Buccaneers convincingly win by 15. Colts, Packers. Buccaneers can... Number 13 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. The Packers go on to win this by the final score of 49-14. to Down at Qualcomm Stadium, we had the Chargers walk away with a six-point victory. The Panthers got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at the Edward Jones Dome. The Steelers won on the road and will now head home to meet the Cowboys. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Lions pick up their eighth win of the year. The Dolphins won this contest, but will stay at the second place in the AFC East. Cowboys, Browns. Tony Romo calls the signals at the 24-yard line. And a quick rollout. Boy, he has some time. What a bullet. Touchdown. The Cowboys win this one by the final score of 17 to 10. All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. This guy sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. This guy is probably the one that most leaps out at you. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. Now the big story of the day. Larry Fitzgerald is going to find himself in street clothes for the time being, and that'll be a major blow to this club. So that'll do it for now. 
Chris, let's send it back to you. So we're more or less at the midpoint of our season. Things starting to take shape just a bit in our playoff race. Here's the men that got my primetime players game balls. And if they get their way, we will see them come postseason. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.